I was interviewed by a Serbian TV recently and the fellow asked me if our children know much about our faith and I told them they don't know very much about the faith but they feel more about the faith than what I know about the faith. <laughs> My experience working with the kids has been excellent. I love working with the youth. I've worked with the youth for the past 15 years and I love it. I learn from them, I think, much more than they learn from me. Ten years ago, our Bishop Longin contacted Otac Dragan Petrovic of the St. Nicholas Serbian Orthodox Church of Indianapolis, Indiana to recruit and organize a team of people which later became what is known today as the Youth Department. One of the first things we did as the Youth Department was establish the Winter Youth Retreat. One of the reasons that we did this was because one of the youth who was at the summer camp expressed an interest to get together with other teens at another time. So then we invited her and made her part of our youth department as well as others. We did some brainstorming and we came up with this concept that we have basically realized and went from having 30 participants to 40 to 50 and now the fourth year that we are organizing this to 110. I'm very pleased with the work of our youth department and I give my blessing to Father Dragan and all our clergy and everybody who is engaged in this important and blessed work. We really think it's not just important but it is necessary for us to dedicate more time and energy to our youngsters because they are future to our church. Orthodox Christianity is the oldest and original form of Christianity and has not changed since the days of when Christ walked this earth. During the winter youth retreat, the staff of the youth department and the monastery teach the retreaters about orthodoxy, Serbian culture, and fellowship. The youth retreat serves as a safe haven and supportive environment to help the youth find themselves and instill confidence with Christian values to overcome their problems as well as provide a guiding light for future success. Orthodoxy, what it means to me is it's a lifestyle. It's not just a saying as what religion you are. I think it's more of a lifestyle, what kind of life you live, um, Christian life especially. It's our way to become closer to God and to Christ and fulfill the life and show people the way. My favorite part of the Winter Youth Retreat is getting to know other people before anything else because here there are so many incredible people with just a lot of love and they really come here with an open heart in order to get to know other people and to make friendships that really do last a lifetime. And that's I think the best part is getting to know so many wonderful people. Another wonderful part of being here is that you really get to know yourself better as well. You learn about your faith and your history that, and it really helps you um, just to understand who you are as a person and where you come from. I think the appeal for the winter retreat and why kids keep coming back is because they form so many friendships here and everybody goes because their friends go, but the winter retreat gives them something that they can't get in school or in summer camp. It lets them be in touch with their faith and experience their faith in a different perspective and really truly find out what they believe and who they are. Really calm down in the middle of the school year and uh, form friendships that last a lifetime. If I had one word to describe the retreat, I would have to say it is loving. Uh, we come here and we don't know each other, none of us do, some of us do from previous years, but new kids come in and we all look at each other like we're strangers, but then by the end of the five days everybody has this love and this peace with each other that we don't have when we come and everybody is loving towards each other, the helpers help the retreaters and the fathers and our speakers and our guests and our bishop who comes to visit us. We bring out what Christianity truly is and that is love. One might think that the purpose of the retreat is to deepen the awareness of the identity in the participants, but inevitably it deepens in all of us. 
just talking about it with people who care about it and want to deepen their awareness and their sense of identity inevitably reflects the same way on us. I think it's important because it provides a lot of things that the youth need, such as fellowship and the fact that when you're here, you're also learning about your spirituality. And it's a good way for people to mix the two, friendship and spirituality. And when you have that kind of mix in your life and you have the friends that also are the same faith and have the same sense of spirituality, it's good to make friends like that because they can really help you in struggles in life. I absolutely feel more deeply connected the whole time I'm here. I'm around people not only my age but Serbian and not only Serbian but Orthodox and not only political, political wise and political boundaries and the country we come from and our parents come from but spiritually wise we all think alike. We're all like-minded and we definitely do feel a connection. Well my favorite memory it's the moment when we sit down and open up about heavy stuff in life. And it is heavy to hear about other people's heaviness. But it is also so wonderful to realize that people can take the burden of their shoulders, of their heart, and share it with others and feel a great relief. So I think that's probably my favorite moment every year in every season of the retreat. Being at the, the atmosphere is very supportive. Different, unique friendships come out of it. We pick randomly names of people to put them in rooms. And some people at the end, or most people at the end of the retreat, confess that they never thought that they could be friends with someone who was cool or beautiful or handsome or interesting or funny and they became best of friends. We've divided groups before and after two, three days they would all create other groups and still remain their own group. Sometimes when I'm at school or anywhere else I lose myself and I start to think, you know, who am I? But here I learn who I am and what life really is all about. I think the retreat is important because not a lot of people know about their heritage and it's a shame. I mean, I know I didn't before I started going to the, the summer camp, Camp Grichanica. I definitely didn't know a whole lot about orthodoxy. I knew that there was a God. I knew that I worshiped this God, but I didn't really know why. And when I started coming here and I talked to Father Serafim more and all the other monks and I've had quite a few experiences like that, now I know not only why I do it, but now I really feel like my belief is stronger and I feel like that's really the most important thing that you get from the retreat is knowing why you do it and you can and that even then you can choose whether or not you want to believe and worship or not. It's just one of those experiences that you know you hear everyone talking about but you don't fully get it until you're here and experiencing it so I would definitely recommend it. For me